uh, we have done one form of carbohydrate that is sugar test. Now let's, uh, can you tell me what is the next form or the second form of carbohydrate? Ma okay, Ritika. Ma'am, starch. Okay, starch. And these are the commonly food, eaten food items. Can you tell me rich sources of starch? Ma'am. Rupali. Ma'am, it's potato. Potato. Yashika. Rice. Ma'am, rice. Okay. That means it's in our daily diet. We need more amount of carbohydrate again because they give us energy like the sugars. Now here we are having our sample as potato and we are going to do the test in this. We, whenever iodine solution is put on any starch product, it gives blue black color. Otherwise iodine in itself is, you can see in the dropper here, it's not a blue black color. For our experiment, the aim is to test the presence of starch in the given food sample. The food sample which we have taken is potato and here it is. And the materials required of course, potato, the food sample, iodine solution. This is the chemical which reacts with the carbohydrates to give blue-black color. If the blue-black color appears, then we will say that starch is present in that. If it is absent, then you can see the color of the iodine. It will remain same. It won't change its color. Now let's start the experiment. Yes. Ma'am, which other solutions can be used to detect the presence of starch? Uh, we usually take iodine solution only for, the te for testing the presence of starch. Now here is the food sample. On this we put a drop of iodine solution and you can see how it will change its color. You were able to observe the change in color. Now let this side also you can see. Can you see the change in color? And I can repeat it just for one more time. And after some time you can see that the whole of the potato will change into black color. After some time, you can see the change in color very clearly as it reacts, as the starch reacts with the iodine, the blue-black color appears. That's all.